How's it going guys? My name is Jared Erasmus and I'm a DP based in Durban, South Africa and this is just a behind the scenes look of a shoot I've just recently done. Alright, so it's 6am and we are shooting at 9. So right now I'm just going to get the gear ready. We're using the Ronin S, uh, the A7S III and the FX6. Last night I was trying to put the FX6 on the gimbal and then I realised there's absolutely no point putting the FX6 on the gimbal when the A7S III goes on here. Um, I wanted to put the FX6 on here because I do have a shoot coming up next month which they specifically asked for the FX6 um, on gimbal but uh, for today I'm just going to put the A7S III on here. Um, so I'm just going to set up everything, I'm just going to get my lights and yeah then we're off to the shoot. So my mate on delay actually got in contact with me to possibly shoot some social media content for him, for his sponsors. And I thought it'd be a great opportunity to put the FX6 up for the test. I do have a shoot next month where I'm predominantly shooting B-roll. That's my role in the crew. So I just wanted to get used to it. I come from using a Sony a7S III, so I usually use that for B-roll, but I really wanted to get some practice in with the FX6. So I also asked my mate Gert to join us. Um, he's shooting on the Blackmagic Pocket 4K. I've never used that camera from what I saw from the shots he got. It's, it's a fantastic camera. So we we're both shooting behind Andile there in the nets. I'll just show some footage of um, the actual shots I was getting. It's kind of hard to keep in sync just because I was shooting at 100 frames, but I'm just going to try and let you guys watch and I'm not going to interrupt it too much. So this is one of the examples where it's not really in sync, but yeah, this is just the angle I was getting. I was really just trying to focus on him instead of the shot that he was getting while well, when he was batting. But yeah, like shooting in a hundred frames, um, I'm, I'm usually just a bit wary with the FX6 because it doesn't have IBIS, but when you shoot in a hundred frames, um, even when you shoot in 50 frames or 60 frames, it's, it smoothens out pretty well. Like you don't notice any micro jitters or anything. So that's pretty much what I was using to shoot. I knew that I could speed the stuff up. I could um, keep it how it is. I just wanted to capture as much as possible because we didn't have too long there. Sorry, I'm just interrupting again. Um, just look at how ergonomic the FX6 is. Here I've just got it rested on my shoulder. It was very comfortable. Even though the A7S III and all these mirrorless cameras are smaller, they, it actually gets more tiring holding them for a longer time because you have to hold them in one position really. You can't really put them on your shoulder. It doesn't normally have a top handle. So yeah, shooting on the FX6 um, compared to the A7S III is, is awesome. It's super comfortable. Galore. You just need to, uh, Yo. you've been playing a lot of four days sometimes, it happens. Okay, so we, we've, we've just finished up. Uh, we didn't use any of the lights. Uh, we were using the A7S III, FX6 and the Blackmagic Pocket 4K, which Hat was using. We're both ridiculously sweaty. Like how hot do you rate it is today? We're like literally 30 degrees. Yeah, like 30 degrees. But we're pretty happy with the footage we got. Um, interested to see what we got from the fx6 super interested to see what we got from this camera i've never used this camera and yeah keen to see the few shots we got on here but oh yeah shot hurt <laughs> okay so i'm back home i'm just having a look at some of the footage i thought i would just show you guys how I'd, i would grade this so it's actually funny watching back on the vlog um all the iphone footage made everything look so like great like it, the sky was blue the grass was really green and I, I don't know if iPhones just do this but it didn't actually look like that it was a bit more dull than that but um, yeah 
I think I did mess up the white balance a bit. I think I did make it a bit warm. But if I were to try and grade this, I just put some notes here. I would come here, I would look for my um, Phantom LUTs, uh, which is what I use on my Sony FX6. That looks great. And yeah, then I would just come in and, you know, play with the exposure a little bit, watching the scopes, um, just making it a bit more contrasty. You see, like other YouTubers would normally do this with a screen recording, but I'm just going to do this on my phone. And yeah, I mean, like, I'm pretty happy with that hair. Like, um, just for social media content, I'm not gonna push it too much. I could come here and uh, speed up my process a bit and just add one of my LUTs as well. Um, but yeah, I don't think I need to do that. So last night I did make a real fondile. Um, I put it together really quickly. I think I'll show it at the end of the video, but I'm pretty happy with um, some of the footage hey? Um I'm specifically happy with this one here. Um, <laughs> it may not look like it, but I got the fright of my life when he hit this so hard towards me. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad I didn't flinch too much, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I think the FX6 handled really well. Um, like I said at the beginning of the video, I usually use the A7S III for B-roll, specifically for the IBIS. I did shoot a lot of um, the footage yesterday in 100 frames um, just to get those micro jitters out. But I honestly didn't mind them. Um, I think for sports and all of that, having the footage a bit shaky is quite a good look. It, it actually felt natural. And actually using the camera compared to the A7S III um, just felt super ergonomic. So I'm pretty happy with the footage. Um, I hope you guys like this kind of raw behind the scenes look at some b-roll with it and yeah thanks for watching my videos guys cheers okay so i'm gonna have to talk over this because of the copyright music but this is it uh, pretty simple pretty clean um this is one of the many reels we'll make for him and yeah if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a like um, i kind of enjoy watching these behind the scenes type videos so yeah thanks for watching guys